Hey guys, it's Carrie. I'm back with another unpackaging. Is that what we want to call it? <laughs> okay, so this um, package, this particular package, hopefully it's the one that I think I am or I'm going to be kind of embarrassed, uh, I've been waiting for since December 26th. My sister gave me, I can give, I'll give you the backstory, can I? My sister gave me a um, eBay gift, an eBay gift card for Christmas, and I went on there and I was like, what can I buy that I want? And I saw these dolls and they, 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 they were gorgeous and the prices were, the prices were perfect for the card that she gave me. <clears throat> Anyhow, to add to the long story before I actually unbox these, uh, they got lost in shipping and it took forever and I, and the con, and the seller, I, I have to thank the seller so much. Um, they were very, uh, informative and quick responding and we both decided that, uh, they got lost or damaged or something happened because they came from China. Did I say that already? Yeah, they came from China, China Air, or whatever, that were China Post and uh, every time we kept to try to look for information, it just kept saying that they were on their way to your destination. So, um, long story short, or short story long, hmm, I don't know. Uh, he he ended up sending me more dolls, which was very nice. He or she uh, ended up sending me some more dolls, which was very nice of them. They didn't have to, but they didn't want the negative feedback, which I am not going to give them because, well, the packaging or, or mailing is not anyone's fault. <clears throat> Or either one of our faults. So, that being said, I, I am worried about the package it gets in, though. Um, because they're dolls, and I don't know if they're fragile or whatever, and they're in a bag. So, that's a little bit scary. But, uh, let's just see. Hopefully, they're safe in here. Be right back, guys. Okay, I just needed two hands to uh, rip that open. Okay, at least it's got bubble wrap inside of it. That's happy. That makes me happy. They're in extra bags. Okay, here's one. Oh, they're a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. Okay, so here's one. And here's two. There should be three, I think, in here. Yep, there's three. It looks like they got some bonus stuff with them, too. So, wow, they're big. I thought they were going to be, like, barbie size. But they're not. Is there anything else in here? No. Okay. So let's start here with this girl. So excited, guys. All right. Let me just get her out of her bag, and we'll take a look at her, closer look at her. Okay. So here she is out of her bag. It looks like they wrapped her face, too. Oh, I love the texture of her. She's very nice. Um, let's see. Uh, so we have these cute little inside of her bag here. Let's see here if I can get this to focus. We have these cute open toe sandal, high heel sandals. They got flowers on them. They're really cute. Oh, we have a comb or a brush here that's got a bunch of hearts on it and it's pink and it says sweet. We have a cute little, oh, this is really nice. A little hair clip thing here. I don't know if this is for you or the, the doll. I think it's for the doll. So we got some pearls on it. I can't wait to put this on. What else, what else is this? Oh, we got a cute little purse. That's pink, and it's got a little flor uh, floral or flower there with a little bows. That's cute as well. I think it might even open. No. It's hollow. I think it's just like two pieces that go together. Not the best quality of the purse, but it's a purse. So, all right, let's get the... Okay, let's see. Art the articulation is crazy on these girls. That's why I sort of got into it. She's really tall, though. Let's, let's stand her up for a second here after I get... After I get this off of her hair here. Wow, so here she is, guys. Um, I don't, I don't, uh, her size. Okay, so hold on, guys. Let me just show you a Barbie that we recently opened because I got her right next to me. And that, it'll actually compare her size to that. This is how giant she is. I, I, I wasn't expecting her to be this big. I was expecting her to be Barbie size. But anyhow, let's get back, let's get into her actual review here. So get a little bit closer here. I hope I have enough time to do all three. Um, so we have a, an inset eye here with actual lashes. Right? Lashes? No, the lashes are painted on, but they're really gorgeous, aren't they? They're, um, they look hand-painted almost. So there's black lashes on the top, and then there's red lashes on the bottom. 
And her her brown and set eyes are really, really gorgeous. You guys can see that. Excuse me. She has a um, light pink lips that are closed. Her hair is pink. And then it has a bunch of glitter in it. I think it's really, really pretty. She's wearing a pearl necklace here that's strung on nylon string. She has a, I don't know, it's a halter top type dress. It's really, really gorgeous. You have um, all this lace right here that goes up and up back. Let me just see if I can pull that back to show you. Ooh, it's so pretty. I mean, the pictures didn't even do her justice. I don't even know if this video is going to. Okay, so it also, so it's blue. We have the white lace on the top, and then we have the blue. And the blue is almost like, the top of it is almost like a doily type material. So it's really, really pretty, but it's got all these, all this, like, uh, glitter. What's the word I'm looking for? Tinsel, that's the word I'm looking for. So we have tinsel in her hair. So we have the light pink, and then we have the dark pink tinsel in her hair. And then we have the light blue dress with the dark blue tinsel that kind of fluffs around, almost making it look a little fluffy. And then we have this really awesome lace on the bottom here. It's almost, this is like embroidered lace. And then you have the tool on the, on the, the light blue tool on the bottom of that. It is one piece. I don't know if she has underwear on or not. No, no underwear. But, okay, let me just, let's go over the articulation here. Uh, well, yeah, before we put her shoes on, show you her final look. Um, her skin, though, uh, for the record, it's it's really matte. It's not shiny, so it's kind of nice. Uh, her head goes back and forth. It seems that's the only, it's a, yeah, it just goes back and forth. And then her, she has articulation on, in the, um, in the shoulder. And then her arm can twist right here, so she's got more articulation in between the shoulder and the elbow joint. She has the elbow joint, which is one of those um, nice elbow joints that actually, she's, she's supposed to, uh, bleh, the arm's supposed to bend a pretty good amount of angles. So let's just try that. So there's her elbow joint in, and then she also has a wrist joint, which tw it swivels this way, and it looks like it swivels that way too, but I'm going to give that a little bit of a... It's, it's very, um, tight. And she has fan fingers. I think maybe her fingers might be removable, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. So for underneath part, she's got, she's ball jointed, so, uh, her legs can go in and out and around, and she's got a good amount of move, movement. So, yeah, it is ball jointed at the, um, at the hip here, guys, if you can see that. And then her leg also swivels right before the knee, so you can kind of tilt it out that way, or put it forward, and then her knee joint does go, and it's actually a little stiff as well. So there's the knee joint. I don't know if this part is supposed to move too. Um, I'll have to play around with it, but she also does have a swivel on her leg, on her ankles, and then you can point your toes. That's stiff as well. There she is. It was a little bit hard the only thing with her shoes is you have to have her feet pointed in a certain position. Because her feet are f are, are um, meant to be flat, and these are high heels, She does they do bend. Like, you can get them to bend to a point, so we will be able to stand her up. But uh, she's really, really cute. Yeah, you guys wouldn't, you wouldn't even believe the price that I paid for her. So, um, she was a good deal, and I pretty good quality for the price I paid. Uh, I'm gonna go into our the next girl, and this is gonna be the peach girl. This is the other. This is another one that I got. Um, she doesn't have any uh, tinsel in her hair. The other one does. She's the only one that I bought got without the tinsel. The tinsel ones looked really, really pretty to me. Uh, I'll probably regret it somewhere along the lines, but um, right now, uh, let's go. With, let's get the peach girl open. So it looks like our peach girl has the same exact shoes. Uh, the pale pink high heel open toe with the flowers. And a different type of brush here. So this brush has like swirlies on it. It's like, it looks almost like a lollipop. Maybe, I guess. I don't know. And the purse, exactly the same. Uh, we have a different type of hair tie here, though. This is really pretty. 
I'm assuming these are handmade. These are really nice. All right. So let's get our other girl. Let's take a look at her. Okay. Same size. Ooh, she's really pretty. So you have that peachy colored hair. Uh, she has a couple of side ponytails. Uh, same type of uh, dangly golden pearl earrings. And this one also has brown eyes. Same type of lash, eye, eyelash detailing. She's Look at that face. She's so gorgeous. Um, I forgot to mention, okay, so her lipstick looks like it might be a little bit more peachy color. But I forgot to mention, if, when you look this way, you can see that it's not just painted. The lips aren't just painted. They're actually part of the mold. See, there's like kind of like a little bit of a silhouette look there. So she really has a pretty face. And moving our way down. Uh, I'll just give you a back look of that hair. It's so really pretty and curly. They are not wigs. They're rooted onto the head. In case uh, anyone was wondering. Uh, she also does have a strung pearl necklace. Uh, well, faux pearls. They're not real ones. And... She has a sleeveless dress on. Her top has some sparkles in it. In the fabric. So you can see the sparkly gold color uh, that has been embroidered onto the top with uh, some lovely peachy pink zigzags. And then the middle of her dress, she's got this cool pink bow with another pearl in the front of it. Then we have some peachy tulle, and on the tulle, we have some embroidery. Let's see if I can even get that to show up there. So we got some cool, like, floral and liney embroidery on top of that tulle. And then under the tulle, we have more dif different types of tulle, and then a, a, a ribbony type fabric. So that dress is really, 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 really pretty. Let's take a look at the back of it. It's Velcro. I really like this girl a lot. Well, of course I like her. I picked her up. Articulation is the same. So how many points of articulation is this? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I guess nineteen points, right? Because you count the swivel as a point? Or not? I don't know. Anyhow. <laughs> Let's get her dressed up. We'll, we'll take a final look at her. Oh, she's so pretty, guys. She's even prettier in person than I thought she was going to be. I wanted to show you guys their feet. Because that was another thing that... Um, that drove me to them. Like, how cute are those toes? Let's see if I can get that to focus here. How cute are those toes on the bottom of those feet? I think they're so cute. Okay, so so here she is. All dressed up in her shoes and stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely not a huge fan of the purses, but they're kind of like more of a throw-in. You're buying the doll. You're buying the doll, and the uh, the eBay seller was nice enough to give, you, give us a comb and a purse and shoes to go with it. But shoes are... The shoes are the, the only good accessory, I think. Actually, no, I really like the hair bows. That looks really cute, I think. Alright, so let's let's move on to our last girl. I'm so excited for these guys. You don't even know. The weight has been horrific. This last one, I don't know what they did, but they taped her legs sticking out of the bag. So I'm going to have a little bit of a hard time getting her out. Okay, guys, here is my, I guess, grape-colored hair girl. So her hair is pretty much the same style as the first one we opened uh, with the pink hair. So it's she's got the lighter pink hair color and then the darker, uh, the lighter purple, sorry, hair color and then the darker pink um, tinsel. Uh, same earrings, same necklace, a sleeveless dress that has a, like a holographic type blue color. Uh, base dress and then on top of it you have this really nice lace and the lace uh, overlaps on the top here you guys can see that and the lace is a light blue she also has a light blue bow in the middle here it looks like it's glued to the dress and it has a darker blue sparkly 
ribbon with a little bit of lace on the end of it that comes down all the way below her knees. The dress also has different layers of uh, lace here, here, and on the bottom. Um, yeah, she's really pretty. They, but uh, for her accessories, which is odd. Okay, so here's her uh, her hairpiece. Blue with a little bit of um, a little bling in the middle there. And then she came with the same purse as the rest of the girls did, but she also came with a bonus purse, which is nice. It's a light pink one with a it's got a, a shoulder strap on it. And then of course the same high heel open toed shoes, flower shoes that the rest of the girls have. So let's get her all dressed up. Okay, so here she is all made up, and I have her posed in a really, really cute way. <laughs> um, they'll probably need stands. I can sit them pretty well, so they'll be good without them for a while. But uh, I'm pretty satisfied with them. I have to tell you, I'll tell you guys. So for all three of them, I, I had a gift card for $25. Um, I basically bought all three of them for $25. I had to pay, I think, a dollar eighty something out of my own pocket for the taxes. And that's it. So, for $25 for all three of these girls with all their posability, uh, the outfits, the beautiful hair, accessories are probably eh, about, but, uh, they come with them. I gotta put her her hair bow on. Uh, I think they're absolutely gorgeous and they're fun. They're and they're different. I I am blown away because I, I my brain didn't think that they were gonna be as big as they are. Uh, they, I think they're like my first size. Uh, do I do I dare call them ball joint dolls? I don't know. I think they're my first my first size articulated dolls that are this big, and uh, they're beautiful. I love their faces. I love their faces. I love their inset eyes, but I liked that about them when I first when I first set my sights on them. Um, thank you to the seller. Thank you for everybody watching this. Uh, I guess if anybody's interested in picking these guys up, I will uh, post a link uh, at the bottom of the video to their eBay. So I, I do have to warn you, though, that it is very, very slow shipping because of where it's coming from and how it's being posted. But for their prices, I think they're well worth it. They got they arrived here in one piece, and uh, they were worth my wait. <laughs> if you guys like this video, yeah, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys!